No, don't! Say your prayers, Ma. Mason, you can't do this! Barry Stan killing me isn't gonna bring her back! No, it won't. But think of the peace of mind I'll have knowing that you've paid for your crimes. You're a sick man, Mark. And sick men don't have the same rights as the rest of us. They have to be erased, like mistakes in a ledger. Judgment Day, McCormick. Only I'm the one come to judge the quick and the dead. No! Good night, Mark. Pleasant dreams. some sleep. Good idea. Night. Good night, Paul. Good night. But you just love night duty, don't you? Man, I'll be on the road in a second. I just want to check my messages. Now listen to this. Wanted, attractive male for party animal female. Must enjoy wild animals and unusual reptiles. I said, if you can tear yourself away from <laughs> that for a second, I'm about a dime short here. I brought a quarter. I was hoping you'd say that. I'll pay you back come payday. Yeah, I've heard that before. You know, if you really want to find a woman, you should spend some time looking around in the real world instead of pouring over that trash all the time. Look around. When? When, man? I've been working night shift for the last five weeks. Yeah, heard that. Chris, I'm at 925 Red Bluff Road in Old Garage. It's urgent. I think there might be some trouble. Hurry. Damn. What's up? Man, Eden's in trouble. Red, Red Bluff Road. Let's roll. Coming by to see you tonight, 10 p.m. Be alone. It's very important. Mason. Mason. Welcome, Julia. Have a seat. First, why don't you tell me what this is all about? This is the night of Judgment Day, Julia. Your Judgment Day. having a better time. Mm. I thought the party was over when the alarm went off at Buzzy. No, no, no. We just moved it here. You know something? Mm. When you give people freedom, it doesn't wonder. That whole routine at the hospital about them being the doctors, us being the patients, 
It just gave them an air of superiority. All we needed was a little confidence, right? A little, uh, friendship. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? I mean, you're our friend. Yeah, sure. I'm your friend. You know, Pearl, they're, they're not going to like it when you take them back to the hospital. Well, of course they're not going to like it. I mean, who would? But they got to go back. They, they can't survive here. And neither can you. Not yet. Leaving us. Oh, no, I didn't say that, sweetie. I'm not leaving you, <laughs> Kelly. Look here. Pearl? Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm glad you called. Yes. Yeah. I thought you'd be at Buzz's. Here I am. Uh -huh. Hi, Kelly. Hi. I'll let you two talk. Yeah, we just moved the party over here, I guess. Yeah. Pearl, listen. I know you said that you might not want to go, but just in case you change your mind, I reserved us two tickets to go to Boston tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. And... Pearl? Huh? Oh, oh, tomorrow night at 8 at the yeah. Boston? Well, that might be a little too soon. You see, I still got to dump these kids off at the sanitarium. And Kelly, well, you can see for yourself, she's not ready to... She's not ready to go back and face Rollins. She's still his... his prey. You can't be serious. Pearl, you can't go back there. You were terrified you weren't going to get out in the first place, and now you're out. If you go back, that would be... Crazy? You can't go back there, Pearl. I won't let you. But wait a minute. i gotta, I got to take him back to the sanitarium anyway. No, so... you don't. You just call the hospital, tell them where they are, and then we can go to a motel. We can be together. No, 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 Courtney. I don't think you're hearing a word that I'm telling you. Yes, I uh... have heard, but it doesn't make any sense. They need me, okay? I care for them. I can't just leave them. Where's the judge? You're looking at him. You? Your own private judge and jury. I'll do my best to keep the proceedings sure. Your note said that we'd meet the judge in his chambers. I'd let you read the charges, but they're all up here in my head, so I'll have to recite them for you. First charge, your incomprehensible decision to defend Mark in the rape case. Second charge, your complicity in Mary's death. This is crazy. Stay where you are. You know judicial procedure, Julia. I now must ask you how you plead, guilty or not guilty. Guilt has nothing to do with this. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty! I already explained all this to you, Mason. I cared about Mary. I understood. I know. I felt her pain, the pain that she, she told me she went through. That's why I took the case in the first place, because I felt Mark should be punished. Do you have any idea how ridiculous that sounds? Do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? Mason, you've been through a terrible... Terrible loss, and I feel for you. I really do. You lured her to that roof. It was your call. You were the one that put them together. She wanted to talk, Mason. She was upset. Mark himself said that you were the one who got her to the Orient Express. Your idea, your culpability. He's lying. He's angry at me because I tried to sell him out, and he'll do anything to get back at me. Would you swear to that? If necessary. Under oath? Would you swear to that under oath? Raise your right hand. Go on, Julia. We both know the words. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth? I'm not playing this game anymore, Mason. This is no game, Julia. People are going to have to pay for their crimes. Dad will have to pay. Mark. It's already paid. Now it's you, Julia Wainwright. Now it's your turn. How many we got coming? Boss says near about 20. We'll be cramming them in like sardines. Kind of like those boat people, huh? But in our case, I guess we should call them band people. <laughs> you got a sixth sense of humor, you know that? Yeah. I don't want you anywhere near my apartment. You understand me? There was a woman there. Even Catwell. If she'd seen you, the whole thing would have been blown. I told you, nobody saw me. <laughs> you know... For a DA, you are a bundle of nerves. I like this. You know any of it. You spoke back up. You just love this, don't you? Dragging me into your cesspool. Con cuidado, amigo. You know, 
The only thing I am guilty of is being an opportunist. Your mistake becomes my gold mine. And if that is not the American way, what is? Excuse me. See? Damn. The Lucas says a police car just turned in. What kind of person lets herself get sucked in again and again by the dregs of society? Do you enjoy getting them off? Is that what gets you off, Julia? Watching sick and perverted souls walk out of a courtroom as free men? In my book, that makes you as sick as they are. Sicker. What did you do to Mark? We're not talking about Mark. We're talking about you. I've already explained. Then why can't I understand? Because you're hurting. Mason, you're hurting so much that you want to lash out and you want to put the blame on somebody else. Oh, believe me, I understand. I know how much you're hurting. You couldn't possibly. You just want to talk your way out of this. Lay the blame on Mary or me. You smell of dishonesty, Julia. Stench is nauseating. That's far enough. I said that's far enough! Oh, my God, man. The court finds you guilty. You can't do this. How do you know? Because it's not in you. Guess again. nothing in the office. There's nothing here either. Man, if she just told us what was going down. Maybe she didn't have time. All right, well, call the phone company and check the last dozen calls on that phone. And see if you can find out who owns this dump. All right, you got it. He found the key. He asked me what it belonged to, and I, I had to lie. I, I hate lying. I hate what it does to me. I almost got into an accident on the way here. Look at my hands. Go on, look at them. They're shaking. I never should have taken that key oh, back. Santana, Just I... stay away from me. I only came to bring the key back, that's all. This is the end. Oh, this is because you lied to your husband about a key? I mean, you know, lying is a very big part of having an affair. For some people, it's the best part. No, not for me. I can't keep doing this to Cruz. What about what he's doing to you? I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's not doing anything. And even if he was, why should I stoop myself down to his level? Sitting around and lying. And for what? For nothing. I thought when you gave me that key, it meant something. It did. So does. I saw her. Eden was here today. Go on. I'd love to hear your excuse. I don't have one. You don't have one. I don't believe I'd have anything to do with her. I mean, she's nosy, she's pushy, and she has about the sex appeal of a centipede compared to you. If you must know, she was here because she literally followed me home. I, I humored her because I have to respect her family's power. But I wouldn't have anything to do with her. You got to believe that. I just. I just know Eden. I know that she's capable of many things. You are the only woman in my life. I wouldn't risk that. And I don't think you should either. I, I, I just... 
just want to be loved. That's all any of us want. Why do I let you do this to me? Because you want it. I mean, you could have mailed these back to me. You could have phoned. But you didn't. You came here. Because you wanted love. You wanted comfort. I know you. I know you better than you know yourself. You hold me? No, dear. Still no word. I know. It's hard. I still say, though, if she shows up, she's going to come to either your apartment or here. So you stay by the phone, huh? Of course I will. Good night, darling. I think in your case, it would be better for you to curse the darkness than light a single candle. What kind of game is it now? I wanted you to see what I'd become. Put the gun away, Mason. Somebody could get hurt. In my note, I requested that we be alone. I'm assuming that's the case. I'm not afraid of your son. Nor have you gone. You should be. You should be very afraid. I know Mark was. I paid him a visit earlier. It's amazing how honest a man becomes in the final moment before his death. But I'm not here to talk about Mark. My business with him is finished. And with Julia. You're the last on my list. I've done nothing to you, Mason. But you insist on seeking out blame for something that was an accident. Why don't you just accept the facts? I know the facts. I was there, remember? We all were. You and Mark, Julia and Mary. You can't deny what happened. I will not subject myself to this nonsense. You're going to stay, and you're going to listen. Son, it's not worth throwing your life away. I have no intention of throwing away my life. It's your life that's in question. For what? Because I happened to be at the Orient Express when it all happened? Why don't you blame the maitre d' then? Or the workman who put up the sign? Or the wind that blew it down? Don't you have any conscience at all? Can't you accept the responsibility for what you did? What? What did I do? You stopped me. You kept me from going up on the roof. You delayed me just long enough with one of your long-winded speeches to keep me from getting to him in time and saving Mary. It's absurd. I loved her. She was going to have my child. Your grandchild. And you act like we should just forget the whole thing. I love as much as anyone. My heart breaks every time I think about what happened. This insanity, that's not going to bring you back. I want you to admit it. Admit what? That you helped kill her. Oh. Admit it! I will not admit it! I will not! It was an accident, a terrible, regrettable, horrible accident. You never could take the blame for anything, could you? Mary suffered because of you. Everyone you've ever come into contact with has suffered, Dad. Your friends, your family. It's made our lives miserable for a long, long time. I'm not just doing this for Mary. I'm doing it for all of us. Or anyone who ever wasted the time it took to get to know you. You poor, beautiful soul. Me. That's what happened. 
But if you insist on assigning responsibility for that, then maybe you should consider why she was up on that roof in the first place. They lured her up there. No, I said. You drove her up there. You did? I talked to Mary before you. She went up on the roof. She told me you were out of control. You want her to have that trial, her public humiliation? That's not true. Yes, it's true. You know this. She wanted to forget the whole thing, but you insisted upon going ahead with it. You insisted on it. Your thirst for revenge took her to the breaking point. If it wasn't for your egotistical insistence of your own brand of justice, she never would have been up on the roof in the first place. Don't blame me, Mason. Blame me. Don't blame the world. Hey, blame the world. It's not going to change things. It was the wind, son. Okay for a little while. Well, what do you say to some shut eyes? How's that? Sound? Okay, I'll get some blankets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's getting late. Yeah, I keep in here all night. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm moving as fast as I can. I'm taking care of it. Owen, where are you? You got something for me? Uh, ask not what your country could do for you, but what you, Owen, could do for your country. Okay. What can I do for my country? Well, uh, presently, Mr. Vice President, I could use a, a little bit of a favor. You see, I must go out and procure an automobile for our present use. You, you mean that's it? This is, a, this is the end? No, no, this is not the end. This is not even the beginning of the end. This is only the time when, uh, when, uh, I've got to take you back to the hospital. Well, you're the president. And you are the vice president, Lyndon. You're in charge of running the country now. Sure. You remember that? Sure. God bless your soul. <laughs> Listen, I gotta talk to you for a second, okay? Hey, hi there. We're, we're taking off for a little while. Where are you going? Well, we gotta go out and find an automobile, but we'll be, we'll be back. I, I gotta take you back to the hospital now. Well, I'm not going back, not not without you. Kelly, you'll be safe at the hospital. And we'll come see you in a week or two weeks. The Boston trip? Uh -huh. That's right. And you're going together? Okay. Oh, Kelly, Kelly, don't turn away. Look at me. Look at... Things come along. Things happen. And there's nothing that I, I can do about it. I'd love to go into the hospital with you, but I can't go. Besides, look at you. You're a lot stronger now. You can take care of yourself. You can beat this. I know it. Right. Yeah. Oh, Kelly, come on, look at me. We're always going to be friends. You know that. I just wanted to see my family, Carol. You will see your family, but right now I want you to stay with Owen and take care that everything is okay here while we go out and get the car. Will you do that? Okay. We shouldn't be long. Come on, Kelly. Where are you going? Leonard said we're supposed to wait here. Oh, and there, there's something I've got to do. Well, I, I don't know. Leonard said I, I'm to look after everyone. Oh, and it, it's real important to me. And I'll be back in a little while. I, I promise, okay? Yeah, Kelly, I... I, I... Get off that bus. Last I heard, you were planning to make a go of it with your husband. What happened? Elle a tout fait rater. Je n'arrive pas à la comprendre. Elle m'a accusé de te voir trop souvent. Elle ne sait rien du tout. Elle te soupçonne, elle nous soupçonne. Qui Pourquoi elle était ici Oh, tu as dit que c'était fini entre nous deux. Elle en profite. <rire> je suppose où elle m'a. Mais à ta place, je me méfierais d'elle. Et pourquoi Parce qu'elle flaire quelque chose. Oui, peut-être. Je connais bien Eden, je peux te le dire. À la minute où tu as passé cette porte, elle a probablement fouillé toute la pièce. 
pour ta tranquillité. J'espère que tu ne caches pas de secret. Je vous ai dit que personne ne m'a vu. Kiss. Pardon, j'étais en train de penser à une chose. Tu ne pensais pas à Aiden ah. Non, sois tranquille. Je pensais à autre chose. Je vous Oh non. Where is she? Uh. Kelly, she's gone. Owen, oh, Owen, oh, wake up. Where where is Kelly? Kelly? Yeah. But she left. She left. Did she say where she was going? Just that it was important. Her father's house has got to be okay. Owen, you're back in charge. Whatever you do, don't let anybody leave. You got that? Let's go. Come on. Four lousy guys, the agreement was for 20. Okay, get out of here. Those are you, partner. Those are you, or those are you. I've got no choice. Load them in and make it quick. Yeah, you want to get out like this? This is the bunch. Oh, this, this is outrageous. Hey, 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 wait, wait. Wait, it's all right, hey. It's all right, you don't have to run. Nobody wants to hurt you, okay? Hey. How did you find us? The police have been searching for hours, and they received a tip that you had been seen entering this building with Mr. Kupnick. Mr. Kupnick? Where is he, Owen? And I noticed that Kelly's missing, too. Are they together? Owen, you'd better tell me, or you could be in a great deal of trouble. They didn't say. You're lying, Owen. They told you where they went. And if you don't want something bad to happen to them and to you, you'd better tell me where they are. <laughs> what? Her father's house. Kelly went first, and Leonard followed her. Maybe she went to see her father. I'm certainly glad to see you. I thought maybe Mason, uh... Mason? He's totally out of control. He's been here and gone already. Are you okay? I think so. I think so. I maybe he'd try to kill you, too. Well, he did mention you and Mark. He was very upset about Mark. I've been trying to call over town, trying to find him. I can't locate him. Well, then he obviously said the same thing to you that he said to me. What did he say to you? He implied that he had already hurt Mark. He implied to me that he killed Mark. You don't really think that he... I don't know. I don't... I don't know what to think. Look, he's really angry. And, 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 he, and he's totally out of His control. His eyes were more full of hate than I've ever seen him before. Never how many times? All in the last couple of days? Man, are you are you sure? Are you sure you got the right phone? Yeah, that's the garage, all right. Well, is there any way you could identify who they called those ten times? I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. That's not Keith Timmons, the district attorney. Are you sure? Uh, I'll go check the guest house. Good idea. So good to be home. Sweetheart, half the police department looking all over town for you. I know. Well, why'd you run away from the hospital, huh? If they I needed to see you and they wouldn't let me. And I've missed you so much. 
Judy, I hate it there. All they do is give me pills. And then Dr. Rawlings is only confusing me more. And then if I can come back here, I know I'll start to remember Honey, things. I can't. They will not let me take you out of there. Don't you understand that? They, they just won't let me do it. Then you can do anything. Honey, well. I can't this time. I can't. You've got to understand. The doctors are there to help you. You were sick, sweetheart. You've got to trust them. No, I can't. Daddy, they don't want to help me. Yes, they, that's not true. Yes, it is. Bro. Leonard said I, I'm the only one that can help myself. Who is Leonard? One of the other patients. Is he the one who helped you escape? Kelly. Daddy, aren't you even glad to see me? Of course I will. Then why do you keep asking questions? You sound like one of them. Baby, I'm just trying to help you, that's all. Then don't make me go back. Daddy, don't. I, I, I'm stronger now. I know I am. I know you, honey. I can hear it. You sound wonderful. So maybe if I come back here, I'll remember what happened in the hotel. And Daddy, the nightmare. All of it will go away if we're together again. Daddy, please don't make me go back. Please. If you love me, don't do this to me. Please. <laughs> Forget the whole thing, but you insisted on going ahead with it. You insisted on it. Your thirst for revenge took her to the breaking point. If it wasn't for your egotistical insistence of your own brand of justice, she never would have been on the roof in the first place. Blame me. Don't blame the world. Me, blame the world. It's not going to change things. It was the way in the I didn't do it, Mary. You know I didn't. I, I never would have done anything to hurt you. You must know that. I loved you. It was supposed to be the two of us. For always. I couldn't let Mark ruin that. I just couldn't. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. What were you doing there? I was just looking for somebody, and I, I asked him, I got him here, but I, I won't say anything about anything I've Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You're that Capo girl. The no. big shot who owns the hotel, huh? Great. What do we do now? Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. now. It's all right. You can go anywhere. I know, I know, but I can't. What? For what? I don't have enough against Rollins to make my charges stick. I mean, besides, nobody's going to believe me, Pearl. I might just end up jeopardizing Kelly. Don't you see that? Kelly's fine. This is her home. And I'm sure her father has no intention of letting her stay. The courts. The courts have control over what happens to Kelly Capwell now. She's suspected of murder. That's right. Her father's going to have no choice but to return her right into Rollins' hands. Which means I've got one option and one option only. I gotta get right back into that institute and prove once and for all that Rollins, it's Rollins who's the weirdo. Pearl, we've discussed this before. You even agreed that you can do more for Kelly on the outside. No, no, I can't blow my cover right now. Okay, I got an idea. We got a new game plan. I'm gonna suit you up, send you in. I want you to check out Kelly 
and see what's going on in old man Capwell's mind. Can Kelly's you do gonna that? have to go back to the hospital. You knew that all along. She has to, Pearl, let it go. She needs me. Look at look at I'm very sorry for all this, but I've been doing a lot of growing over the last several weeks, probably more than I've done in my entire life, and I think finally for the first time I realize who Michael Baldwin Bradford the third really is. He's me, Pearl. And Pearl is Michael B. And they're both very likable, decent guys. Who knows? They might even amount to something someday. And don't jeopardize that. Don't be don't be foolish, okay? You don't understand. If I turn my back on her now, I am nothing. Daddy, I'm begging you. Please don't make me go back there. Please! Honey, Daddy. they're not giving me a choice. You're all crazy! I said you are. I think Pearl's right. Pearl, what has Pearl got to do with this? What? Daddy, only you can help me. Honey, didn't you say yourself that you were getting better? Yes. I, I can see it. You are. Does that mean where you've been has helped? No. Honey, you're getting better. I can... Listen to me, kid. Listen to me. When you got sick, it was so frightening. I can't tell you how frightening it was. You couldn't talk. You didn't know who I was. You didn't know who your father was. You do now. Thank God for that. Daddy, it wasn't them. It's me. Oh, no. It's... it's don't it's answer the door. It's, it's Please easy. Don't it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Mr. Capwell, I'm Detective Whitney from the Santa Barbara Police Department, and this is... We know each other, and I'm sure you know why I'm here. This way, No. Jake, keep him away from me. Baby, you listen, are... honey, listen to me. No. We don't have any choice, honey. We don't have any choice. It's the law. You have to go back and put you in a prison hospital. I can't let him do that to you. And, Kelly, I promise there won't be any punishment for this little escapade. Owen and the others have already been returned to their rooms. They're safe in their beds. Sound asleep. And Leonard? You're not to worry about Leonard. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me Leonard's okay. And that he's not going to get in trouble for this. I give you my word. You take your hands off her. She's getting better all the time, isn't she, Doctor? Yes. I've seen evidence of dramatic improvement. And I will be allowed to see her, won't I, Doctor? We'll be lifting her visitation restrictions very soon. But until that time, Kelly, say goodnight to your father. I'll never get out. Oh, you, of course you will. I'll get you out. Daddy, they don't want me out. Honey. Now, now, Kelly, you know Just this Just a minute, you. doctor. Mm -hmm. Honey. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'll get you out. I love you, sweet. I love you. I won't forget about you. You know, you I won't. I promise I'll be thinking about you every second. I love you. You and your mother. I love you too, sweetheart. Oh, you just say. You mean everything to me, don't you? Don't you know? You are my life. Okay. Don't forget. I won't. You remember what I told you? You can't drive in this sometimes condition. Sometimes I wish you would ask me to stay just because you wanted me to. No, I do. You know that's No, I sometimes I do. Sometimes I think the only reason you want me is to get to cruise. To steal me away from your number one rival. <laughs> He's not my number one rival. On n'est pas dans la même catégorie. Oh, tu plaisantes. Depuis la terminale, vous n'avez pas cessé de vous heurter. Aujourd'hui, la terminale, ça remonte un si loin ici. Si vraiment c'est mon rival, c'est parce que c'est ton mari. Mais sur le plan de notre carrière, regarde où il y en est encore lui et où j'en suis déjà arrivé moi. Je suppose que tu sais faire la différence entre un procureur et un flic. Nous sommes tous les deux au service de la loi, mais la similitude s'arrête là. Je n'ai pas à me salir les mains, moi. Cruz Lui, est... il est pris dans l'engrenage. Cruz est quelqu'un de bien. Tu mérites beaucoup mieux. Tu mérites tout ce que tu as. Are you expecting someone? No, no. 
Doc! Couldn't have waited till the morning, huh? Not a chance. You know, it occurs to me that our upstanding district attorney is up to his eyeballs in something illegal. Is that so? Does the address 925 Red Bluff Road mean anything to you? You're about to make an accusation. Why don't you finish it? It seems there's a garage at that address being used as a dump-off point for undocumented workers transported from the border. And there's a phone in the place. Get this. Ten calls in the last two days have been placed from that phone to this apartment. Ah, oh, you think I'm involved. What the hell am I supposed to think? Well, uh, for your information, Inspector, I was conducting my own private investigation. You would have broken that smuggling ring if you hadn't stepped in and ruined it. You expect me to believe that? I had a man on the inside. Why didn't you call? Why didn't you delay the raid? Why wasn't I informed about this? I don't tell the police everything I do because your department has quite a few leaks. That's the biggest mistake you ever made, pal, professionally and personally. Really what? Yeah, you see, you see, Paul and I were, were summoned to this place because we got a message from Eden Capwell. Apparently she got uh, wind of your operation, decided to do some investigating on her own, except that when we got there, she wasn't there. And we haven't been able to find her. I got a feeling she stumbled into the middle of a real mess, for which I'm personally going to hold you responsible. Calm down. Man, I'm telling you, if anything happens to Eden, you're going to rue the day you... Calm down! Come on in. Plan our next move. Back at the hospital? All right, I checked the guest house. I used the phone there. I called everyone I could think of. No one's seen Mark. The last place he was spotted was the Kappa Hotel. He's got to be somewhere. Cece, you heard what Mason said. He practically confessed to killing him. I don't think Mason's capable of killing anybody. Maybe not killing me or maybe not killing you, but he hated Mark. Plus the pain that he felt over Mary. Those two things combined will drive him to do anything. I, I saw him, Cece. He was out of his mind. How can I call the police? He's my son. We don't have any choice. 